As the rebundling and reordering progresses, you will create a more evolved nervous system that will facilitate new data to move itself into your consciousness. The great tidal wave of light triggered the light encoded filaments to draw together and bundle that third helix. This bridged the electrical current inside your bodies that will access the self you know to the multidimensional self. So, according to the Pleiadians, the triple helix was created in the DNA of the masses already in 1993. What Jarl Vidar does back in Germany is to test the blood of a person to see if he or she has the dormant triple helix in their DNA. If they do, he uses the Vril machine, which is basically hooked up to the Nyama, the universal energy, which in Star Wars is called the Force, so the person can be activated on a distance. Time and distance are no longer of any significance. If the person activates, he or she becomes multidimensional in some terms, and for many, it can be a pretty overwhelming thing. Prescott told me about his own activation back in 2009, and he said it took quite a while for him to get used to it, and it was even scary at first when he noticed he had access to the invisible realms. He could now see what we can't see with our five senses. The problem with triple helix activation the way it is done by the Thule order is not only that it overwhelms people and can even make them go insane, but it is also not lasting. The blood activation has to be repeated once a year. Also, it's not meant to be tampered with like they do. It's a natural procedure which will take its time and activate gradually. However, the Thule order and those who work on fulfilling prophecy don't have time to wait. They think they need activated people now to do the job required by them. Needless to say, the Pleiadians opposed to any such behavior. They were asked in a lecture a couple of years ago about Triple Helix, and they said that no one should get involved in any such project although they never mentioned the Thule order in specific, although it is project like theirs they are referring to. Our chance to get out of this mess needs to happen on a level that is natural and is given the time it needs to develop. Everything else is a step backwards. It's quite obvious that we are living out the Atlantean karma in present time. Especially here in America, but also in many other parts of the world. When it was decided upon that America was going to become the new Atlantis, and the Freemasons and the Rosicrucians arrived here in the late 1400s, the stage was set. This is where people who had any major connection with Atlantis were going to live out their karma, and hopefully resolve it. There is a big cleansing going on on this planet at this particular time, and like the Pleiadians say, there is nothing we can do about it. We can see how old magicians from that time are now coming back. The same people, another time, but somewhat similar. The technology we have now is different, but still similar. Overall, we are reliving that epoch once again. We know Atlantis was destroyed, much so due to misuse of energy, and we now stand in front of the same fork on the road. Last time we chose destruction, so what are we going to choose this time? Just like then, there are now people who can see what is playing out before their eyes, and it's pretty stunning at times. We literally see the same people doing the same thing over again for the same purpose. This time we are misusing energy even worse than we did back then, and it's alarming even for star races outside our solar system. We are manipulating DNA again, and black magicians are trying to produce what they call triple helix DNA. Something that is not only isolated to the Thule order and people such as Yaro Vidar, Michael Noah Prescott and Supreme Rockefeller. The Pleiadians are also talking about it in their books and lectures. They say the following about Triple Helix, the great tidal wave of light, as expressed through the great Uranus, Neptune conjunctions of 1993, brought an infusion of cosmic rays onto the planet, creating a potential third strand of DNA in the masses.